Hello, welcome back to Minecraft. We're playing on my piracy map of my piracy adventures or piracy and this is piracy. Um I have started to make the move into moving my resources into my warehouse. Um I've only really got stone stone sorted for now. But I'm gonna have them individual things for individual though crafted stones probably all gonna be together. And same as that, because I'm never going to have a lot of these. I have rotated that at some point. It's upside down the right way up. I can't tell. Um, that's my only stone block there, and to be fair, most of that's going to be turned into that, so... But I feel like I should keep it just in case. I think this is my jump death chest. But we'll ignore that. So, I finished it up. I've just... I only went as far as to add in... Words, yeah. I only went as for adding an additional length on what we had. Um, pretty decent size. I might, I haven't decided, but I might turn that area into a second floor. But I kind of like the open feeling, even though it is quite busy with all the pillars that I don't really like, but it gives the room a little bit more pizzazz, <laughs> something else to look at. Rain. I don't know what it is about this um, island, so we got really rainy. And the back is much the same as the front, just without the doors, though so I could possibly add some. I'll see how I feel. I might get wild. But there. No. So it's probably going to be my least interesting building I've built. It's a very simple warehouse. You'll watch me build it. It's fine. And now I'm trying to decide what we're going to have to do today. Um. I'm currently trying to edit and record Christmas maps, so I haven't really thought about this. But I don't want to leave this in the lurch, because I'll forget to do stuff, so that's why we're here, even though I'm not really with it. But yeah. Well, I'm going to turn this into a staircase, right? So, what I could do with... Could definitely like clear out this because I'm probably not going to need that. I'm going to need some oak wood, spruce, and stone for now. We can always grab some more stuff. So, oak blocks, we've got plenty of those. Uh, wood, spruce, oh, running low. No, I need the full. Oh, we're running really low. Really down to my last... Well, I know what I'll be doing once I finish recording. Yes, it is. Destroying a load of wood. And then I put the stone away, which was a great idea, because now I have to run all the way over here to get to my stone chest. Should I make more spruce in this chest? There is, but it's planks again. I'll also put those there. There, there's actual stone in my stone chest. I don't need this type. Uh, probably that much will do. Don't think I need anything else. But we can quickly fill up that side a bit. Uh, but yeah. I'm realising, as I've started to find and collecting my maps for this year, so I'm recording them already. But I am realising this is probably going to be the last year I can do like 25 Christmas related maps. I think I've mentioned it a couple of times. It is so difficult to find anything that's been made recently. Christmas wise, because I don't know, the map making community doesn't seem to be as big. Now to be fair, I am looking at Planet Minecraft mainly because it's just very convenient for me. So I'm going to have to look elsewhere for maps. Um, but yeah, it's, at the moment it's like very difficult, can't, can't find anything. What I can find is either 10 years old, so we're talking about 1.8, which barely runs properly. And to be fair, I tried loading a map recently in 1.16, and my laptop didn't like it for some reason. Um, so I'm going to have to work out what was wrong there, so I'm not going to be able to 
um, place some of those ones, which is going to make my listing pool a lot smaller. At the moment I definitely have 12 episodes, so I might end up having to upload every other day. Obviously assuming I can actually get them recorded, it's not long till the start of December, and I have only got like 6 episodes in my 25 days. I don't know, I haven't decided. Um, if any of the maps I play end up taking more than 20 minutes to play, obviously I'll cut edit down and we can have some maps running every year. Not every year, every couple of days. In regards to uploading maps that frequently, would we, uh, those who watch, I mean, it's up to you. I'll probably do it whatever way I can but would you prefer me to write uh, play like part A and part, part B of a map and upload them like one day the next or would you prefer it to be it's like part A being the 20 no we'll try with a small number there part A being the 12th day and then part B being the 16th day would we prefer it like that if no one says anything I'll just carry on doing the um where I'm doing it currently, which is stop raining. If I upload the A on 12th, it'll be B on the 13th, just to keep them close by. Okay, that's it. Wonderful. We got torches. Do you have to? No, that didn't go well. Oh, I do want to bring that all the way down, so I might actually quickly do that. I'll do that once. Yeah, that's, that's done editing stuff. But it's been something I've been thinking about trying to work out what would be better for the upload schedule. I mean, most likely I'll just upload as I whatever I finish editing. <laughs> um, most years I'm like editing three episodes in a day. <laughs> I would work. I don't know if I'll really have the time to do it. I hate my job. Have I ever mentioned that? I, mean, I did last year. Work it out, not hate my job. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's been um, it's been a hot minute, and then it will soon be. <laughs> God, it will soon be next year. Like it's November twenty. Or something now, which means it's already basically December. Which means now I'm slightly stressed because I've just realised I don't have an episode one. <laughs> I think I have the second day, but I don't have a first day. <laughs> oh, I hate everything. But no, nah, it's <laughs> it is what it is. It that's just how the world works. The months must carry on, the days must go. I think people must think I'm on crack sometimes, because I swear I don't even know what I'm talking about. We found a mouse at work today, which is always good for a food factory. The mouse accidentally got killed. We went tried to put a bucket over it, and my colleague accidentally dropped it on its neck, because the mouse tried to move, obviously, because we were trying to capture it. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have a mouse at work anymore. <laughs> it's causing a bit of a hoo-ha because of course you can't, you never have one mouse, you always have two or three. That should, ah oh, yes, perfect. Mm. It was a... Made work a little bit more interesting if not a bit frightening and a bit sad because the mouse died. <laughs> Because we weren't quite sure of it if it was or not to begin with. Okay, that's that. I can carry on building a tunnel through here. I hope, because obviously I've got that whole three. Oh, I'm gonna have to find out to make sure that pattern's gonna still work. Otherwise, I might have to change my. That's not gonna work. It's change my life choices slightly. Yeah, also, 
It's kind of hilarious because my colleague, he, um, well, it's filling up his water bottle. That kind of works. That can work. It's not perfect, but that can work. But you'll only be seeing it on the inside anyway. Yeah, my colleague was filling up his water bottle when he, um, said mouse ran past him and he, he'd be like, I think I just saw a mouse. It's a good thing at the time we were not doing production. Um, otherwise, I think more than this would just be panicking. And yeah, so I don't have it anymore. I have loads of issues at work at the moment. Any management issues? Aka, we think management's an issue. <laughs> No, uh, we've got no uh, um really trying to push productivity, which is fine, it's great. I mean it's how we make money. Though a lot of us are convinced we actually make money. But because they're pushing it so hard, little other things that really need to be taken into consideration. Like cleaning, don't get me wrong, we're cleaning, but I'm not and I'm not talking about the making sure the machines are clean before anyone panics if they've worked out where I worked. I'm more talking about when you sweep debris off the floor. Uh, one of our products contains a ingredient that when it spills on the floor it gets very slippery and now it's not water. Though we do have water in our products. Oh my god, some of you might work it out on that below. And the issue is the more of this product that gets on the floor, the more dangerous the situation is. But because it's raining. Yeah. The only command I typed. No, because uh, manager is trying to push production at the moment, like really hard. That's all taken a back burner, which means walking around the site can get slightly interesting if you're not prepared for where it gets really slippery. More than once, you'll see someone just sort of nearly slip over, which is hilarious because they're always going, "Oh, safety first, clean as you go." Never happens. I don't know. Maybe it's just where I work. Maybe. Um, other factories are more into the making sure it's clean, making sure it's safe, making sure it's running. We're not so good at that. I'm sure it will change at some point. Get super efficiency, very little waste, and life will be great for, for us all. Though pigs can also fly. But if you shoot them out of cannon hard. Then... What was I talking about? I can't remember. I'm very happy at the moment, brain wise. So I'm exhausted. I mean, um, working mornings, but instead of waking up at about half four in the morning, so I mean, wake up three and struggling to sleep for that final hour. So I've given up around four. And Excuse me, it's fine because I can read and I enjoy reading. But it just does mean that by the end of the week I'm getting quite tired. Even if I am using my motorbike to get to work rather than cycling. Which I love my motorbike. She makes such a pretty noise. I never did post a picture of it online. Yeah, I should find the picture I took of her. It's actually kind of amusing because right now she's got kind of, um I left her... I mean, I try not to ride her whilst it's actively raining and I haven't yet. Just because I'm a bit anxious. But she's been left... she's ridden over wet roads and she's been left out in the rain. So she's kind of covered in the dirty water spots. But it looks so good on her! Like, seriously! <laughs> the colour the color she is and how she looks just normally, it's just... It looks great. I feel like I took the really long route to get over here. <laughs> but I'm going to have to wash, wash her soon. Which... I'm not sad about, I'm just... Effort. I'm very lazy. It's supposed to be nice this weekend though, so maybe... Maybe I'll uh, drag her out. 
Give her a hose down. Okay, how am I doing? So I feel like I will finish off these walls. So the person who commented, sort out my inventory. I hope this is better for you. It's not for me, I'm driving chaos. Mainly the chaos I commit, though I suppose you'd prefer it if my tools were more over that way. Or maybe my food would be there. But then again, I would normally have my food over there anyway. I don't know why I'm still carrying that water bucket. I don't actively need it. But I hope I'm causing you pain. I like causing people pain. I feel like that's a nice start. That's a bit, it's a bit lot bigger than I thought that was going to be. This must be over one. Uh, I do feel though, yeah, when you say it's a mess, I know it is. I just. My brain just doesn't work like a normal person's would. It doesn't bother me as much as long as I know where I sit. I tend to still use the scroll wheel, even though number clicking is more efficient in every situation possible. The only time I occasionally will use the number is for one because it's right w my w right above my w key. That's convenient. Where are we? God knows in conversation and in life. Oh. Okay. Maybe we can go around this way. I haven't decided how magnificent this is. I'll probably end up re-editing this. I mean, because I'm not thinking about what I'm doing, I'm just sort of doing it. My brain right now is, how can I make staircase? Cool, easiest way to make staircase. Let's do it. Is it coming? Ah. I hate stairs sometimes. Nope, that didn't do the thing I wanted it to do. Do that, and then... Do the thing. Yeah, we'll make it look like pretty. <laughs> How did I do that? That's that way. That way, that way, that way. These stairs make no sense. Stomach, stop growling. You ate at some point. No, wait, you didn't. Well, you did, but like, oof. Gotta stop doing this. I keep unintentionally starving myself. Um, for those who haven't been around that long, when I had COVID at the end of 2021, it completely threw out my um, need for food. As in, I just I stopped needing food. I stopped getting hungry. Um, it's not even being oh I'm ill. I don't want to. Eat. I mean, I literally just did not feel hungry. And it lasted about six months, um, so I've been eating very little for six months. And um, by very little, I mean sometimes to get through my eight-hour shift, I would be eating a bar of chocolate. Oh, sorry, and that would do me, which is not healthy. I wonder why I have iron deficiency at the moment. It's not good for you it's just definitely not a way i would advise to lose weight or anything like that um no who knows maybe people who have the issue where they're still quite active no nah, i'm not even gonna make the argument that maybe it'll be worth trying it's not um getting curved butters <laughs> so i lost quite a bit of weight but because of that I still, like, even after so after six months, I only just started getting normal hunger cycles again. But even now, I have weeks 
where I s once again just do not feel the need to eat, do not feel the hunger. Um, and because of that, I'll skip meals still. So I'm still losing weight because of that. I've lost quite a bit. I was. I mean, I am wide anyway. Uh, I've got quite wide hips. I'm quite broad. I'm a broad, broad. <laughs> um. Well, let's make another crafting table so I have to run back over. Yeah, so I'm a broad, broad. So my clove size hasn't really changed that much, but how it fits does. So I am usually a UK 16, so UK medium to large. And now I'm probably quite happily in the medium category. And not just that, I'm probably quite happily in the size 14 category. Which I'm actually really happy about. But it's slightly annoying because none of my clothes fit anymore. My my pants, my underwear, um, they spend more time falling off me than they do staying on. And now I'm not a slut. Um, no, nah, it's just they're, they're size. And that's not how we did this, Caitlin. They're not size 16s. They're, they're size 16s, whereas I'm not anymore. Which has led to the awkward situation of I have no thing that fits me. And I know I could just buy clothes, but I hate buying clothes. It involves shopping. On the positive, though, <laughs> the pants that have been at the bottom of my drawer that I haven't worn for years because I grew out of them fit me now. So yes, they may be a little childish, <laughs> but most of them barely got a wet, a uh, bit worn anyway because they wouldn't fit. Now I'm just not wasting clothes. It's good. It's great. You say it's not. It doesn't half boost the self confidence a bit when you can turn around and be like, "Oh, I'm wearing clothes I wore when I was 16." I don't know why I chose that voice. But no, I'd say I would not. Would not recommend not eating for six months as a way. I mean, I'd rec recommend it as a way to lose weight, because you would, but I wouldn't recommend it as a life choice, or as a thing to do anyway. It's effectively a fad diet. Once I get back up to eating the amount of junk I used to, which I'm slowly getting there, I'm going to put all that weight back on again. My body's got very used to eating very small amounts. So now, I have no idea what signals I've just um, crossed. I'm sure someone will point out. So are you for diets or against diets? Against, I'm severely against them. <laughs> Those who need to will. Those who don't, don't. I find weight such a weird thing. Mainly because I've been, I've been everywhere. I'm quite skinny. I mean, I was always quite a podgy child, so not skinny, skinny. But I've always been. I've done the whole quite skinny, quite fat, and now I'm back to. What I have to guess my body should be like. You know, not not skinny, not particularly fat. I guess see, even at my fattest, which size sixteen UK, that is officially plus size. So you can take it however you want. Um, unfortunately, like my mental whatever, I still see myself as quite fat, so it's very hard for me to accurately talk about it because I just go, I'm still fat. I'm not, but I can't. I rationally know I'm not, but mentally I can't disagree that I'm not. It's a fun reality I live in. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, so even at my fattest, I was still able to slip through quite tight spaces i've always been able to do that shimmy my body way through one way or another so nah i'm not i'm a big girl and you know what big girls you are beautiful and i don't know where this was going there was a point somewhere actually it's me talking there's probably no point anywhere but all i'm saying just be happy with who you are you don't have to make an huge ginormous change to make yourself happy 
I mean, sure, some people may think if I lost a bit, maybe I'll be happier. And that's fair. Like, it, we are getting t to the start of the new year. Maybe that's your resolution. By the way, new, new year's resolutions are terrible ideas. If you're going to do something, do it now. But if you want to put a deadline to it, new year's coming up in a couple of months. But regardless, if you feel like what the change you need to make is lose a bit of weight, throw out your hair, play that instrument that you haven't played in a while that I told you to play last time, but you quite clearly haven't because you've decided you'll pick it up in the new year as your resolution, and we all know that's a load of BS, so pick it up already. Just live life how you want to. Don't waste time with people who have negative thoughts and negative impacts to your health. If they are not improving you, if they are not making your life worth living, they're not adding quality to the life you already live, you don't need them. I, you don't have to completely get rid of them from your life if you feel like you still need the connection, but you can do other things. You don't need to be around them all the time. Don't try and become friends with someone who doesn't care anything beyond themselves and sure you may not be able to see it because they're your friends but you'll know really whether or not the person you are spending your time with is a friend or a parasite who's just leeching off the energy you have and that's why i want to quit my job because blooming feels like management are leeching off us anyway i'm sure there's a voice over <laughs> I swear, I'm somewhere between inspirational speaker and absolutely no idea what's going on. Okay, just lighting up this because mobs talking about parasites who leech life. Okay, I've got a kind of grand staircase. Ah, it's very simple. It will get you up to the second level. Le level? Level? Takes up quite a bit of space. I might edit it later. The gets up here. I'm feeling like I'm going to find a way to limit that and put doors in it. Just so that these areas are a bit seem a bit more secretive. That wasn't really what I wanted to do. We'll see. I haven't decided. I haven't decided anything. I decide on the fly. <laughs> no. And I'll keep the wooden struts in there because I kind of actually like that look. I'm really now. It wouldn't really matter, but I'm really now tempted to change my lantern placement. But no matter what I change, it'll be slightly weird. I could fully lantern it to be fair. Or I could change my mind of the lanterns altogether. But now you can do a full loop of the island from the underground um, passageways. And yeah, I think I have no idea how long I've been going on for. I can't wait to edit this because I'll probably just delete all my rambling. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Like, feel like, comment, want, subscribe if you can. Time was an awesome time in telling me terrible. Live your life to the fullest. This is Miss C signing off. Goodbye.